Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. LeBron here with another grammar lesson for you for today. Last time I was with you, we talked about common boy-girl nouns, okay? So we talked about the symbol looked like this. Common boy noun would be like brother or father um, or policeman. Common girl noun looked like this, okay? Pretty simple. Um, and that would be like wife or waitress or mother, all right? We didn't say anybody's specific name. Well, proper nouns are different because they say someone specific, okay? The proper symbol, the symbol for proper boy noun is, ju is just like this, okay? You make, the common sim you make the common symbol, but you need to fill in the head. The same for the proper girl noun, okay? So this might be someone like your name, like maybe your name is Carter and that's specifically your name, so that would be proper boy noun instead of just the boy, okay? Or maybe your, instead of grandma, just a, just a kind of a regular old grandma, maybe my grandma's name is Margaret, and so a specific lady and a specific person, so we're gonna fill in the head for proper noun, okay? So I'm going to tell you a noun, and you tell me if it's common boy noun, proper boy noun, okay? So the, the, the noun that I'm thinking of is groom, groom. That's common, because I didn't say, groom is um, someone who's getting married and it's the boy, so common boy noun, okay? Um, now I'm gonna be thinking of um, a boy noun, tell me if it's proper or common. Then. The noun is called corduroy. Corduroy, that reminds me of my story. And I think that was proper, that's his name, so it's proper boy noun. Okay, so I would fill in the, the head for corduroy. Um, that reminds me, the other character of this story is a little girl and her name is Lisa. Okay, so Lisa is proper girl noun and just girl would be common. Okay, so how about this? I'll write that. I'll write those sentences out, and we can make those symbols. Okay. And so if I said, Lisa took corduroy to the store. Okay. There's my sentence. Lisa took corduroy to the store. Now, we talked about nouns, um, especially boy-girl nouns. Those are the who's of the story. Those are your characters. Well, I didn't just say a girl took a bear to the store. I gave them specific names, and so they are proper nouns, okay? Lisa was the girl, and we know it's her name, so we're going to give her the girl symbol. However, we're going to fill in the head so that we know it is proper noun. And actually, we underline it till we know that's an uppercase. Okay, all proper nouns have up, our uppercase letters, start with an uppercase, okay? Or capital, we sometimes we say, Lisa took corduroy to the store. Do I have another proper noun in there? Yes, and it will give you a clue because I see another capital letter. And corduroy is, oh, corduroy is a boy noun and it's proper because it's a name and we know that it's uppercase, okay? So we're gonna practice our common, excuse me, proper boy-girl nouns in addition to our common boy-girl nouns, all right? Um, go ahead and complete the activity to practice proper boy-girl nouns.